Pop Rockin' is the creation of Joe Sparks, the designer of one of the first big CD-ROM game hits, Spaceship Warlock. The San Francisco-based game company is currently putting the final touches on their debut product, Total Distortion, and there's no denying that it's going to catch people's attention. This is not just because it has flashy graphics and sound, although there's plenty of both. TD boasts some of the most bizarre game concepts ever conceived. The whole premise revolves around the existence of thousands of alternate dimensions parallel to ours. One day, a bunch of weird aliens just appeared on Earth, showing scientists how to travel between these dimensions. Now, the bulk of these dimensions are devoted to loud rock music or cartoons, leading to the theory that they were created from people dreaming the same dreams and that young people dream more vividly. You with me so far? Okay, you are an enterprising young music video producer. You've inherited enough money to have an enormous media tower built and zapped to the distortion dimension, which is, naturally enough, devoted to grunge rock and heavy metal. Your plan is to edit together the funky riffs and bizarre sights you encounter into wicked videos, then sell them to promoters back on Earth and make huge chunks of cash. Simple enough? So what could go wrong with such a simple plan? Well, the distortion dimension is populated by creatures who are not particularly happy with your manipulating their home for profit. Among the first of these you'll meet are the Guitar Warriors. You see, they serve the Metal Lord, and I'll just forget it. Let's just talk about the simple survival issues here. There's only so much food in your tower, and to get more you've got to go back to Earth, which costs an outrageous amount of money. If you don't make a killing with this stuff, and quick, you may be stranded in an alien dimension with nothing to eat, and that doesn't even mention the Guitar Warriors. So there's the strategy element, the combat element, and uh, what have we forgot? Oh, yeah, sleep. You heard me right, even sleep becomes an aspect of this game. When you nod off, you have to play a few quick arcade games to determine whether you get a good night snooze or are freaked out by nightmares. This impacts your mental energy, which is just as important as your physical energy. Then there's the interactive library, which is like mist with a caffeine headache. Heaven knows why you'd be out looking for footage, but if you want to loaf, you can pick up a book and maybe play a game inside. If that's too strenuous, you can always listen to your soothing radio aquarium. This is iWarp News. This is a test of the emergency distortion broadcast. This is only a test. Hey, this is transmission. Hi, this is Tom too. I got a lot of money. I can show you how to get a lot of money too. Order my... Hello, Cheryl. There's a church social this Friday. I was warning... Rock is burn out early. Let us help you ease the transition from stage to early grave at the Gnarly Acres Retirement Home for rockers past their prime. This has been a test of the emergency distortion broadcast. In the event of an actual emergency, you would be instructed where to shred. And then, of course, there's the soundtrack. What would a rock and roll game be without rock and roll? Virtuoso! Well, there's plenty of hot rhythms and cool riffs as you make your way from wannabe to mega smash. There's over 60 original tunes here, so kick out the jams. There's no doubt that Total Distortion is a completely new kind of thingy, full of energy, humor, and excellent graphics and sound. Not to mention very challenging gameplay. Look for it this summer.